Welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to efficiently come up with the Laplace transform for cosine squared t. Um, okay, now recall that cosine 2t is equal to 2 cosine squared t minus 1. And so then we can use this equation to solve for cosine squared t. Uh, that's simple algebra. And we see that cosine squared t is going to be this here, right? Okay, cool. So uh, cosine squared t there, cosine squared t, which in turn is equal to that, right? Okay, so then we see that the Laplace transform of cosine squared t is equal to the Laplace transform of cosine 2t plus 1 divided by 2. Yeah, now, uh, as I've said in previous videos, the Laplace transform, just like the integral, is a linear operator, meaning we could take out constants and write them in front, and then we could split it over sums and differences. And so then, uh, dividing by 2 is multiplying by a half here, right? So we could take out the constant 1 half, and right, that what we have is the Laplace transform of cosine 2t, and then plus a half times the Laplace transform of 1. So I've used the other property of the linear operator, which is splitting it over sums and differences, yeah? Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. And now I have videos dedicated to showing you the Laplace transform of cosine 2t and the Laplace transform of a constant. So you can watch those videos. But um, yeah, uh, what we have is the same as 1 half. The Laplace transform co for cosine 2t is uh, s divided by 4 plus s squared. And so there that is. Uh, that's the Laplace transform of cosine 2t. And the Laplace transform of the constant 1 is 1 over s. And so here we are. We're done. Yeah? Cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.